Nicholas, your full name and where you are from. Definitely. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Schlegel, uh, and I was born in Germany. I've lived in Canada for about 14 years, and I'm here today with my parents and my brother. Amen. So, Christian, can you tell us um, what is the testimony that you have to share with the congregation today about what God Almighty has done in your life through the medium of the anointing water? Absolutely. Um, I'm currently studying to become a paramedic. Um, and I've been looking into ambulance companies uh, that will take me in. Um, in the late fall of 2014, uh, I applied to a company called Medivan, and I got a reply from them after I sent on in all my applic oh, sorry. Uh, all my applications. Uh, and I got a reply from them, this is the first email right here, that states basically thank you for uh, applying, but uh, currently we are not hiring, so any, any time in the near future. Um, my parents came to visit this prayer line about a month later, not, not a month later, uh, month, about a month ago, and we've, we've heard about TB Joshua and the anointing water, and uh, so they, when they came back, uh, it was in in February. February they came and visited here, and they brought some uh, anointing water back home to Canada. And then I I took that anointing water and I said, God, I know that you said in your word that if you open a door, no one is able to close it. And if you close a door, no one is able to open it. And I said, God, I believe that you use a medium, that you, you, you can use a stick to part the sea. You can use a dead man's bones to bring life. And I said, Father, I believe that you are my savior. You're my deliverer. And nothing, if you're on my side, God, nothing could go against me. And I started praying. I took that application and I sprayed the water, declaring the word of God. About four days, about a few days later, I got an email from them. This is the second one right here. And stating, they're, they're like, uh, I, I, don't know if, I do not know if we told you or not, but uh, there's a position available. And uh, if you're interested, we would like to look into your application. And uh, I replied to them and I said, oh yes, definitely. And I told my mom, I'm like, that is God. That is God. And... I got hired with the company. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So when you had originally applied for this position, we can see on the very first um, email that you got, it says that you had sent this email on December, or you had received this email on December 29th saying that there was no position for you. And during that time, all the way leading up until February, was there any contact at all from this company? During that time, no. And so after you, receive, after you uh, received the anointing water, when your parents came, then four days later, on it says on the second piece of paper... Uh, here it is, February 25th, that was when they were giving you that interview directly after you had prayed with the anointing water. Yes, ma'am. Amen, amen. Put your hands together for wonderful Jesus. So Christian, now that you're here and you've received this amazing breakthrough that from Jesus Christ, giving you a job and making a way where there seems to be no way, what advice can you give to the people in the congregation who might be facing some similar situations? I'm no more different than you. If God can do it for me, God can do it for you, no matter what circumstances, no matter what mountain you're facing. Our God is greater. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Let's give our God a wonderful round of applause. 